Welcome to the Assassin's Den. My name's Charlotte. You know Kevin. We got a question about the slurring test. Excellent. Um, yeah. So we're hit up. Question, do we use dechlorinator um, before we do a slurry test? Um, and the answer is a question. Do you always use dechlorinator every single time? And if that answer is yes, then yes, absolutely. You still want to dechlorinate this water before you run the slurry test. Um, the whole idea here, once again, is that we're using the exact same water source for the slurry test that we water and feed our garden with. We're, we're trying to eliminate these, these excess variables here. So dechlorinator actually puts the water through a chemical process. It's going to eliminate that chlorine, that chloramine. It's going to eliminate heavy metals. It's going to leave behind just a very trace amount of sodium chloride. So in order to get that water to be identical to what you're doing every single time, you, you know, you, again, you want to put this through that same chemical process. Get it in there, stir it up, um, let it sit for a minute or two, and you're going to be good to go. So I just want to reiterate, everything is, anytime that we're looking at what kind of water source do we want for that slurry test, the exact same water source that you're doing every time you water and feed your garden. Um, the only people that I want to see pHing that water before the slurry test are those that have such crazy pHs. You know, I, I have somebody, he has, his well water is coming out at about 8.0, 8.1. It varies a little bit. He nice. has so much limestone, um, obviously, in that well water. So what this individual does is we have him filling up a reservoir with water, um, pH adjusting that, and letting it sit for a while, okay, until that water has stabilized at that pH level. Um, and because he does that every single time, that's what he needs to do for this slurry test as well. So, yes, the answer is quick and easy. Just make sure it's the exact same water that you're always using in your garden. So if you're always using dechlorinator, which is an incredible product, um, you darn well should be using it for your slurry test. Awesome. It's wild how water can just be so different from household to household. It Absolutely. It can. And, you know, from district to district, um, there are a lot of variances there. Um, so, yeah. All right. Well, keep it consistent with your slurry test, with your water, always. Thank you so much for joining us today. This is Kevin. I'm Charlotte. You can find us at Botanic Assassin on Instagram. And you can also direct any questions you might have to info at BotanicAssassin.com. Stay frosty.